guys and welcome back to my channel so for today's video today is the first ever setting up video i'll be making again after so long so usually if you guys are new to my channel i do my setting up videos in like different like kinds so i usually have three setting up videos so that will be my weekly check-in uh, my sinking funds and then my budgeting um but because there's a bit of issue with my sinking funds right now because i have taken out a couple of amounts in like some areas because you know lack of funds uh, my numbers look weird so we're not gonna be doing a setting up video for that uh one i will be making one in december though just so that i can like get organized with all of the numbers with my sinking funds so yeah so for today's video we are going to be setting up my setting up videos together actually so we're doing both my weekly check-in as well as my uh, monthly budget spread for november psa though because this is my first one after so long i seem to have forgotten how to do these videos so forgive me if ever i make errors because 999 percent, i am gonna make errors so to start off uh for the actual like calendar uh setup i already did it off camera just so we're not gonna be doing this because this is gonna take 500 years to do that's why i did this off camera just so that all i have to do is put on the uh auto pay stickers which are right here as well as the days so uh yeah i'll just grab my pen up here and then i'll write down the dates okay there's that i usually zoom you guys in but i didn't need to because i'm just writing dates also can you guys believe it's november already the year's ending oh my god and i think it's just super appropriate that i started budgeting again in november because that is when i started budgeting in like 2018 so yeah 18 to 19 19 to 20 20 to 21 yeah so i wait i'm going on my fourth year what when did i start doing this 2018 oh my gosh hold on i'll just check my youtube videos because i don't think i'm supposed to be in my fourth year yet weird sorry about that guys 2019 okay so i did start in 2019 i was like did i start in 2018 okay so i did start in 2019 so 19 to 20 20 to 21 i am going to my third year that makes more sense so and i started in november 2019 I just think it's appropriate i start like, back up in november 2021 so all right so uh, for auto pay um i do have a couple bills that are on auto pay the first one will be on the third which are my pet insurance as well as life insurance <laughs> I, I love i had to pause for that one next up is for all i work I also forgot I had an auto pay on the first, which is my TFSA, which is $50. Oops. And then on the 25th, uh, that's when like my bank fee as well as... Uh, it's not really a bill. Well, technically it is, but it's a subscription. My Apple, my iCloud is charged as well on the 25th. And then lastly is on every last day, that's when my uh, student loan stuff goes through so there's that if you guys remember i used to have it on the 28th for my bill due i think it's still the same my bill due is every 7th where is it where is it so when i switched carriers this was when my phone is due now and so there is that but obviously i have paid that already because we are on this area right now uh, i have paid this already previous it was paid during october so i don't need to think about that i think that's all i have to do for this calendar that's usually what i have to do like on the setup video so i love that um yeah so that is done now time for the budget tracker so this one is a lot more plain than my calendar because that one was like set up already this one we can set up on camera methinks so I don't have this goal portion right here because this was just part of like when I got this kit. This isn't really something I use. That's why what I've been like doing in the past was just grabbing one of my millions of washi tape and just covering that up. 
Like, okay, I know you can still see it, but, you know, humor me. Oops, I cut the actual paper. Oopsie. Oh, well. Nobody but me will see this, or you guys, every single time I film, so... Does that really matter at this point? Not really. <laughs> okay, so there's that. And then my sticker book here of the months. Let's go see. <laughs> January, February, March, April. Now we are in November. I don't know if that's centered. Is it centered? We don't know. It, it's there. Okay, so for income, as per usual, the information is not going to be disclosed because I'm uncomfy. And I'm just going to use these guys as like a cushion for my writing. Alright, so now I will zoom you guys in, finally, and we can start. Okay, so for fixed expenses, if you guys don't know, fixed expenses are like the ones with like set amounts whenever you pay the bills. And the way I arrange this is according to bill uh, due date. So, first one will be TFSA, which is taken out every, like, first day of the month. And that is $50. That'll be $1101. Next up will be insurance. This one kind of went up because Empresses and S Empress grew older. Because, like, when the, uh, in the past, we only used to pay $54 for her. Now we pay $58. Because she grew older, so now it, instead of the 204, it's 208. And both my insurances are taken on the same day, so yeah. 11th 03, and that'll be that's why I condense it to just insurance. That'll be 208 because $50 for my life insurance and then 58 for Empress. Next up is my MasterCard. So this one, I don't really, there's not really a bill, no, there is a date for it, but. I don't really follow the date of like when to pay it but i have a fixed day of like paying it and that is every 10th of the month so that'll be my mastercard because i am paying my mastercard actually i should do it for both credit cards here so credit cards because i have two and i am paying off again my visa card sadly so that'll be 200 and then on 11 25 that'll be Oh, I just completely bypassed my phone. Well, let's just say I'll put it on December because um, I'm paying it. I, I'm not paying it this month anyway. Or, I don't know, if I'm paying it for like December, for November. I don't know. But yeah, we'll just, we'll, we'll just skip it. <laughs> like I said, I'm rusty in filming my budgeting videos. Really sorry about that. So for my credit, uh, what's next? 11.25. You know what? I'll just pay my phone at this time as well. For like November. So that'll be bank, iCloud, and phone. So bank is. This one went up, I think. This one is like $20 now. So. Hmm. And iCloud is forever $3.99. Thank you. Okay, so for my phone, I'm not sure. I'm just going to say 82 for this month. <laughs> I don't know. By December, I should have more accurate numbers. And then on the 30th, that'll be student loans, which is 200. I, I do pay off two student loans. And then sinking funds. So for sinking funds so far, I think I'm going to have a fixed amount on it. So... I have 240 plus 55 equals 295 times 2. So that'll be... That's divided by 2. What am I doing? 240 plus 55 times 2. That'll be $590. Oh, I should also put this CRB. I'm putting in 300 month okay because i have to pay that off by the end of the year all right so for variable expenses this one are the like expenses i do that are like technically bills but their no, amounts vary so i have two bills i pay for that do that so that'll be direct energy which is our like electricity and then nmax which is house 
things. <laughs> um, yeah, so the bills for those guys are on 11.19. I believe that is in max. No, this direct energy. Direct energy. I mean, I could be flipping it, but whatever, it's the same. I paid off. 11.21 is in max. And then uh, these guys, for this one, I have set amount of stuff for them. So for direct energy, I have $200, especially because the um, winter is coming up. And that's why I write it in pink because I will do a line right here and then this will be the actual amount I pay for. And for Nmax, that'll be $160. That'll be a, oopsies, a line through there as well. And then for the rest, this will have my cash envelopes so let me just grab other pens other colored pens in here okay so for these guys obviously they have like a set budget but like the varies how much i spend on and how many i have six so we'll do a line through these guys so in general this one will be craft this will be eating out for babies and because uh, online is cashless, I'm just going to leave it a different color. So online. And then this one will be pastime. And then self. Okay, so for the amount, these guys will be the ones with lines in them. I just realized that. So let's do it like this. So for craft, that'll be $30. For eating out, that'll be $100. Because I'm I'm adding in the amount of like the one budgeting, uh, the one cash stuffing I did like a couple of videos ago or a video ago. Because this one is coming next. Yes, so last video. And yeah, I did a last minute like stuffing for October. And then now I'm doing full on and then this is the included amount. Yes. And then for fur babies, I just realized I changed my numbers. My bad. So this one will be 35, not 30. There we go. This one will be 40. Yeah, 40 plus 60 is this one. That's right. So for fur babies, that'll be 30 times 3. That'll be $90 for this guy. And for online, for online, I only stuffed this starting this month, so this will only have a hundred dollars. No, two hundred. Math. <laughs> for pastime, that'll be thirty, and then for self, that'll be thirty, forty, sixty. Because for some reason, I had like twenty dollars in there before my house, uh, my, my house myself, uh, cash envelope. I had twenty dollars in there, and I didn't realize, and I'm like, what? so all right so these are the amount expected like, the budgeted amount and then the amount spent on these guys so last part right here is the tally so again i don't do income i don't disclose that because i don't and then for total expenses that'll be we're gonna have to add everything total savings is 590 actual is 590 1938 dollars and 99 cents wow so there's that right okay well horrifyingly enough that's that because that number that's crazy anyways that is that <laughs> for that portion let's see what we're doing here so for the expense tracker i'm just gonna this is gonna be just my unbudgeted things. Or online is what that is. I don't know. We'll do it like that. That's that. That should just be unbudgeted in all honesty for a while. So for this one, I only have two months to color. So we'll do that. Oh yeah. Let's... We should talk about what I'm doing. So this one's the bill tracker. So pretty straightforward. It's the bills being tracked. So yeah. Let's just color things in actually. Um, I'll... Even though October's really done and it didn't do anything, we'll still color it in just so. And I need to find an excuse to use my things because, because I stopped budgeting right for a bit, and now I couldn't use any of my things. Now I'm just finding ways to use my uh things. I forgot about them. So for November. 
Last but not least is Christmas. Christmas, which means no December month. That's why I'll put it on like green color right here. Sorry if my coloring is like outside the lines. My bad. And then red down here. Okay. So now we list out all of the bills. And then TFSA. Yikes. So for my bank, it's $20. <laughs> so the due dates, if I am using my November budget tracker as a guide. So for bank, that'll be... I don't even need to write 11, 25 because it says, no, <laughs> it says no right there. I'll just write it in red just so. So these ones are like paid on like my fixed expenses. <laughs> Basically, almost all of this is going to be filled up. These two are the only ones that are, like, uh, variable expenses. So, there's that. So, bank is $20. And that is that for the bill tracker. Okay, so last but not least is my weekly check-ins portion. So, we put in November. It's super tiny, but it is what it is. Okay, so I have my calendar open here. And I'm trying to see how I want this set up. So, there is an extra two days. Um, I'm going by Monday to thun Sunday. Sunday. Oops. Let's just color these guys in before we discuss this. Yeah, I'm gonna go Monday to Sunday. Indeed. And then how I used to do this was there's this number right there to say the dates. Days. I just realized it doesn't make sense that for my setting up videos, I had to make like three different videos. I could literally make all these videos into one. Oh shoot, one was cut off. Oh damn it. I didn't realize that. Frick. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Six. Yep. Yep. Yikes. 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 Well, it is what it is. Okay, so for the month of November, the way we are gonna go. So for week one, that'll be November first to the seventh. And this one is November eighth to November fourteen. Next up is November fifteen. To the 20th. Oh. Wait. Oh well. <laughs> I wrote November 1 to 7, November 8 to November 14. Oh well. And then let's make let's make it uniform. November 22nd to November 30th. There we go. So for the last category, I'll have to write it here. Sadly. I didn't notice that. Oof, my bad. So for categories, so weekly check-ins, this will be the setup for like my cash stuffing and like my expenses for them. So first one is craft. Next up is eating out for babies, pastime, self, and online. All right, so that's basically what it looks like. Now I'll just do the rest. Okay, so I did everything off camera and there is that bit right there. But you know what? I can't do anything about that, so yeah and with that i am so happy like now that i'm looking at everything i'm actually starting budgeting again and it feels so surreal because like april may june july august september october kind of seven months of not budgeting in the past two years and it's crazy um but yeah that is that um i'm actually super happy about this and i hope you guys look forward to my next budgeting videos thank you guys so much for watching thumbs up if you like this video subscribe to my channel for more budgeting related videos and remember to keep on shining bye